Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you for inviting me. I've got a video to uh, kick up the presentation with, and then I'll get into my little speech. When you return someone's quality of life through the product that you build, that's an enormous sense of achievement. IQ Buds, they're amazing. They're amazing, these are so cool. They walked on the moon and then this happened. That's incredible. This is amazing. I didn't think technology like this could even exist. Wow. When I found the booth, it was like a miracle. Just to be able to hear like this, it's been literally life-changing. I took the booth out of the box, set up the Air ID. World off. Oh my God. Amazing. I have been telling everyone. It's exactly the kind Focus of on. I'll see you there tomorrow night. You'll love it. Great, well, uh, the good news for you is this is not going to be a 15-minute product pitch. Um, I think that, that video speaks to the journey that we've been on for the last four years. It's, it's really been a journey of both surviving and thriving. And I think for a lot of wearables companies, that's what you've got to be all about. So this morning, I wanted to sp spend about 10 minutes talking to you about direct-to-consumer. And I think from... Uh, from our perspective, direct-to-consumer should be spun around the other way. It actually should be the consumer direct. So consumer to direct, because when we look at our business, pretty much everything that we do has been related to the consumer. I mean, essentially, consumers direct every part of your business. And it really starts at the beginning. I mean, consumers should direct the start of your business. Right, what do they do? If you're gonna start a really successful business, what you have to do is address a real consumer problem, which is what New Hero did. But you don't just address it, you actually build a solution that changes people's lives. And in our case, it was helping people hear better. So the consumer was fundamental at the beginning of our journey to start New Hero. You know, consumers also should direct how you launch. And it's fascinating when you look at crowdfunding campaigns. The misnomer of crowdfunding campaigns is, oh, what a great way to raise some money. Well, actually, that's not really the real purpose of a crowdfunding campaign. It should be all about product market fit. We raised about a million dollars Aussie in our first crowdfunding campaign. And it was really designed for us to be able to validate the product that we had and how it was solving that consumer's problem. Yes, we'd already raised some money before the crowdfunding campaign, so we weren't in des desperate need to raise some money. But fundamentally, if you're going to start a business and do it on a crowdfunding platform, think about product market fit before anything else. Consumers should direct your product strategy. You know, don't let the engineering department drive that. Let the consumer drive that. And in our particular case, we brought out IQ Buds in 2017 at CES 
but we listened to the consumer about what we were going to bring out next. So our second product was IQ Buds Boost. And we brought it out because we knew that consumers were demanding a level of personalization with their hearing. It's all very good to enhance people's hearing, but if you can enhance it in a personal way that's relevant to their own personal profile, then you've got an even better product. And then our next product that we brought out, the IQ Stream TV, we were fully aware, based on consumer research and feedback from our customers, was one of the big problems with hearing was actually in the home and watching TV. I'm sure we can all relate here in this room to people in, in your living room listening to TV at really loud levels and it really annoys you. Well, that's a real problem, particularly with people with hearing issues. So we were able to connect our IQ Buds Boost into a TV streamer, which we called IQ Stream TV. And now here we are in 2020, our fourth CES, launching IQ Buds 2 Max. And why did we do that? Because we know that consumers are demanding better quality sound and better quality sound suppression. So we, en we enabled active noise cancellation and a more natural sound experience with the product we're launching uh, this year at CES. So consumers also direct how you sell. At the end of the day, consumers have got lots of different options on where to buy your product, even at the retail level. So we're doing business with companies like Best Buy and Specsavers in the UK and Walgreens here, and we've got a different model for each one of those customers. What's really interesting is what we're doing with Walgreens. We announced this about a month ago. What we're doing with Walgreens is that we are selling IQ Buds on their online store and drop shipping to their customers or to a store. A customer does not have to go into a Walgreens store to buy our product. They do it online, we ship it to, this, to the customer's doorstep, and we also uh, ship it directly to their store as well. Very innovative ways of actually selling products to the customer because the customer now has lots of different options. I think one of the biggest developments for us as a company is our online business. And consumers are actually driving that for us. I mean, at the end of the day, if you're a wearables entrepreneur, and you're not investing and focusing on your direct-to-consumer business, your online store, you're making a big mistake. It is the future of, of uh, you know, sales models, and we're starting to experience tremendous growth in our online business, and I'll tell you why. One, it's measurable. So we know what our conversion rates, what our cost of acquisition is, what our uh, cost of user, all the rich data that you can actually find about your customers is all accessible. It's responsive. So we're, we can respond immediately once we know what's going on in our online store. So the ability to be able to respond like that to challenges or, or um, failures in how you're going about your business in any different part of the customer journey or any different market is fantastic because you've got the data at your fingertips. It's insightful. The levels of data that we have around our online store is incredible, and it's giving us tremendous insights in how we actually mold our next stage and what we offer the customer. It's controllable. Wonderful thing about online is that, you know, if you're spending $100,000 in a particular market and it's not very, working very well and you're seeing growth in another, you can actually control that really, really quickly. So the ability to be able to have control underneath the one roof through your on online store is invaluable. And it's predictable, which is so wonderful. If you know you've got a model of you spend $50,000 using this particular model and, and, it's, and it's repeatable, then you can predict your business as you're going forward. So I do recommend if you're a wearables entrepreneur, really start thinking about your online store, start investing in it, get the right people that understand that process and, and push forward. So consumers direct how you're performing. I mean, how important is it to have customer feedback loops? We consider that to be critical, and there's actually lots of different layers that we use as a company to hear from our customer. One, obviously customer support. I mean, we're constantly getting interactions with our customers on a you know, hourly, minute basis. But there's other things you can do. We actually use a net promoter score platform, where we're getting immediate feedback from customers once they've got their product, and they're giving us 
you know, accurate and honest feedback on how we're performing as a company across the board in, in the net promoter score. Our customer review platform, very important. We've actually got a really data-rich customer, plat uh, customer review platform. If you go to our site, it's not just one comment from a customer. We know who the customer is, what level of hearing loss they have, what they thought of our hearing enhancement, what they thought of our, sa uh, our sound quality. It's all published on our site. So when customers go to the site and they want to see referrals from other customers, they're going to our customer review site and seeing a lot more than what they would normally see from any sort of customer review page. One-on-one -on -one conversations. As the co-founder of the company, I actually try and have a conversation with a customer every week. Just a one-on-one, -on -one casual conversation. What do you think of the product? What, was the, you know, what were the advantages? What are the disadvantages? What was your experience? Having those one-on-one -on -one conversations is invaluable to hear right from the horse's mouth. And of course, we also engage independent consumer research. So you can see it's, it's multi-layered. Um, it's insightful, and it's really important to understand how the customer is interacting with your, with your company and how you can do better. Uh, consumers direct how you grow as well, right? So in our particular case, we're a hearables company, right? Guess what category of the wearable space is just exploding right now, and that's hearables. We saw this four years ago when we launched IQ Buds Boost. Now we're at a stage now with the likes of the Apples and the, and the Amazons getting into this space. We're thankful and grateful that these big guys have actually created the market for us and we're piggybacking, piggy, piggybacking on them to grow our business. So um, it's not a bad thing if the big guys get into your market. It's actually a really positive thing for your business so long as you can stay ahead of them from a technology perspective. And now, obviously, as we move forward as a company, we're looking at consumers to direct our future. And, and frankly, you know, we're all about accessibility and affordability as a, as a key to building our long-term customer loyalty. That, to us, is the most important thing. If we know that we're delivering hearing health that's accessible and affordable, we know, we know we're successful. And to just finish off the, the, the presentation, you know, these are the sorts of things from a customer perspective we love to see. This is a customer quote that, to me, summarizes everything that we should be doing as a customer, as, as a company, in delivering solutions to the customer. They are excellent quality. The after-sales service is also fantastic. Great company changing people's lives. I'm buying more now for some friends after they've seen how good these are. What more can you say about how a customer is responding to your product and your company's offering? So to finish off, um, really want you to think about the customer. The customer is number one, and there's so many different multiple layers on how you can engage from them, engage with them, and understand how you can improve your business that is customer-driven. Okay, thank you very much.